Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a follow up video to the registration video that we made earlier. A lot of people had follow up questions. How do I edit my application that I've already submitted to Nusuk? And how do I add a family member to my application? So, this video, we will try to cover these two topics. If you haven't already registered, uh, first check out the video about registration. We have a step by step video on registration. Inshallah, we will link it to the description below. So first you want to do that. And then if you are looking to edit your application that's already submitted, or you're trying to add a family member, that's when you want to use this video. So let's go ahead and log in first. So let's go ahead and log in to our application. Again, you would log in as the first person who had applied and already has submitted their profile for verification. So go ahead and log in. It will send an OTP to your email address. Enter your OTP, and then it will take you to log in. Now, once you're in, if you had already submitted your application, you would see the application submitted successfully. As you can see the service provider information, packages information is still not released. Uh, we are expecting it to be released pretty soon. So what you want to do is, if you are looking to edit information that's already uh, submitted, you would click on this, your, your username, click on my profile. And when you do that, it will load the profile that you had already submitted. And what you want to do now is review the section, review all the information that's out there, you can you want to change your photograph, you want to update any information that you submitted previously, uh, find the section that you are interested to change. And then for that section, you will see an edit icon. So you will see edit icon for personal information. If I scroll down, there's an edit icon for the contact information that I have submitted. So go ahead and click edit icon. And when you click edit, it says in order to edit your personal information, you'll be directed to the application form to edit. Click proceed, you can click on this edit icon and then update information that might have been incorrectly put the first time. If, again, you wanna make sure that all the information entered here matches your passport. If there is any discrepancies, this can have problems with flight and tickets, it can have problems with visas. So you wanna make sure that all the information you submitted is 100% accurate. If there are any changes, make those changes and then click save. So that's pretty straightforward of how to make changes to an application that's already submitted. Now let's go to your profile account and then click on my family. If you click on my family, you will see the primary applicant as an admin to this account. Uh, and as you can see, most profiles will be under verification right now. Uh, we're expecting Zoom to start verification uh, very soon. And then here is a section under my family, under profile, where you can click add family. The maximum number of people that can be added into a single family is eight. So let's go ahead and click add new family member. You wanna go ahead and click, uh, the email, enter the email address, click verify email. This will now send an email to your family's email address. Once you have put in the OTP code, it will say the email is verified. Uh, then you select what is the relationship. There are different relationships that you can add here. Uh, so it could be the mother, father, could be the wife, depending on what relationship you are adding. So in my case, you can go ahead and select the relationship. Let's say I'm adding a wife. Uh, the, you want to make sure the country of residence is correct. Uh, your one thing to be note, to note it is you both need to be residing in the same uh, country in order for uh, you to be able to add a family member. If your family member lives in a different country, uh, that country is not under Nusuk, then you would have to use the local uh, process there that's applicable for your country. Uh, if, if your family member resides in a different country, they might need to create a separate profile. So again, uh, you can click on this FAQ for the family members. And it, so let's click add family. And when you do this, now the process is gonna be very similar to what we did earlier with your own application. 
uh, or the first person's application that was added, you will now be required to update the documents. Now these documents have very specific image format guidelines, like passport needs to be PNG or JPEG, dimensions of 800 by 400 pixels, file size can be maximum of one megabyte. So make sure to edit your images similar to what was done in the first video. Right, the video covers how to add the first primary applicant from the family, how to edit photos. You wanna use the same process to edit photos for your family member as well. So make sure to check out that video. And then once you have the documents ready, uh, you wanna start uploading. So, it, so the first thing I need to attach is the passport. Next step is to upload the personal photograph. Click next. It should already pick up all the information, review that the, the information is has come in correctly. Uh, if there is any discrepancy, you might need to manually edit by clicking edit here. You will need to consent and then confirm the accuracy of the document. Click save. Then submit. Come to this information, enter the uh, the contact information for the person, uh, put in the address. And again, you have street address and home address. Now there isn't super clear guidelines on what this should be. So you wanna basically a lot of people have selected the city here because there wasn't any field to enter city. Select the closest embassy for the date. Again, you don't necessarily know when exactly you plan to come in. That might be early June. That's typically what people are saying. And then about 21 days, if, depending on your, your mode of transport that you expect, most likely will be by air. And if you don't know uh, your flight number yet, a lot of people are now putting TBD for now. Next, have you received a visa before? Have you visited uh, Saudi Arabia? Have you ever denied or rejected visa? Are there any restrictions on your passport? Provide information as for your requirements. Uh, do you have any relatives residing in Saudi Arabia? Uh, have you traveled to other uh, countries in the past six months? Uh, do you hold other nationalities? Put in all the information correctly. Next is the application form. Similarly, fill out the background details as applicable for your scenario. For vaccination, uh, make sure to enter if you have taken vaccination last year they needed COVID-19 vaccine, and then they needed meningitis. Again, this year, they will probably share more details. Meningitis is typically taken closer to your travel dates. So fill in the information accurately. If there are any wheelchair requirements, uh, things like that you can fill out here in specific health conditions, allergies, uh, pull out all that information. It will show you a summary, review that all the information is entered correctly, and then go ahead and submit. So now you'll see that the second profile is under verification as well. Uh, as you are aware, once the we have we have talked about it in the other video, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, what you will be required is that they will be next step will be that they will do verification of these profiles. If they have any questions, they might reach out. If the packages are released, they will give a chance to review those packages and then also set up e-wallet. Again, more information now that e-wallet will be re, uh, will be shared as as that is uh, provided by Nusuk. Uh, so make sure to subscribe to this video so that you can receive all the updates and how to activate e-wallet talk about all this in the upcoming videos
Hope this was helpful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.